Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. Today, we are diving in and taking a look at another overhaul mod over on Nexus Mods. So I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description, and you guys should definitely go over and check this mod out because it adds in some really cool concepts and ideas. But I, I definitely think more mods should try and incorporate. This is the Atlant well, the Kingdom of Atlantia mod, and yeah, we'll go ahead and dive in. We'll take a look at some of the new assets, the new unit trees. You can already see my awesome looking dude right tier absolutely kick ass uh, some of the armors are pretty beautiful and one of the things it actually does do really well is it adds in like loads of warhammers as well and i feel like that's something i don't think i've seen in like any other mod is the like you know the actual weapons of warhammers which feel really good just smashing into foes and hopefully when we get like kingdom of ardor and other you know and obviously you know uh, the uh, the old world as well the warhammer mod that would be really awesome so this mod is obviously still on calradia but it changes a lot of the kingdoms do keep in mind this mod is still very much a work in progress mod uh you know the assets the uh, the unit trades and stuff are all constantly changing as more and more updates come out more kingdoms are being added into the game but right now we have basically i think three overall kingdoms we have a kingdom over here in the right hand side this is the atlantean kingdom we have over here we have the phoenix empire Oh, sorry, not the Phoenix Empire, but the Domain over there. And then we also have a Dwarven Kingdom, uh, or Dwarven S Kingdom right here as well, uh, which is set up again. This is one of the smaller kingdoms, but still very strong. And I love some of the custom shields, which we'll take a look at in a second. There are custom unit trees for all three of these factions, as well as uh, custom unit trees for a lot of the uh, cities actually in the Kingdom of Lantia right over here, which I really, really like. So basically, the lore behind this kingdom is is that they came together to go ahead and beat the domain over to their right hand side like a lot of these kingdoms joined hands and formed one big empire to basically combat the, the huge foe to the east um and yeah it's really cool and the way the model shows this is by custom unit trees for pretty much every single clan in this kingdom so for example we have the the Sauron recruits right here and you can see kind of their setup right there see some of the custom armor as well that these guys do go up again the unit trees aren't massive but i like the idea that at least for this kingdom, the unit trees don't have to be massive. You have like four or five units for each of the cities and you can kind of pick and choose. You can kind of go maybe for the Sions for the foot infantry. And maybe there'll be another city that has its own custom unit tree that allows you to recruit maybe the best knights. And maybe another one that allows you to recruit the best archers. So I really do dig that kind of setup and that, that style. Again, you can see some of the heavy axemen. Again, this is kind of like a Norse-inspired faction in a sense, like a medieval Norse faction. So you can see a lot of these great axes, a lot of very good shock infantry, as well as a sturdy pike unit as well. They're actually equipped with some of the knight's halberds. Again, custom assets and also custom weapons in the mod itself. Then then for example if we go over to this faction right here and we go in and take a look at their recruits you can see that the, you know it's completely different this is like the archer the city that provides some of the best archers obviously you also have a standard infantry unit and these are actually quite cool as well because they can take advantage of a pike brace as well uh, which is quite dope so you can get a bunch of these foot infantry and they'll actually pike brace for your uh, front line uh, with the new update and you also have some very very late tier tier six uh, valiant marksmen i imagine these guys will absolutely shred their opponents right there and then again if we take a look so maybe we go a bit further north um yeah, yeah what other kingdoms we got this kingdom right here as well right uh we go into this kingdom i think these guys no these are also custom as well i thought these were the default ones so you can see this is like a shielded axe infantry bat line uh right there and you can see some of the high tiers getting some pretty good upgrades their stats are looking very good as well um so actually the stats don't look good at all but i mean they only have one hand in athletics but yeah maybe adding a few more there and we also have some archers on this battle line and you know there's, there's a ton of other you know units like this in the atlantean empire i think this faction which is over here yeah this faction we got another one right here i think this is the normal one so they'll be rocking with the uh i uh, know actually again they've got their own custom unit tree as well and again you can take a look at them i thought because they're there is like a standardized unit tree tree as well um but yeah again completely custom i really like this spear as well the royal guard spear looks so dope you can kind of see it there obviously equipped with a custom shield which we'll take a look at and also you know custom weaponry as well 
and then again we got another faction over here so yeah i really like the idea of like this custom empire coming together and this is something that Bannerlord, i think in vanilla really really needs is like this idea of like mixing cultures defeat opponents like not every faction should just have the same standardized troops because you know there's different clans from all over calradium they should kind of like mix and match and have like you know maybe even like uh combined units like maybe if there's like a, a settlement on the the edge of the kazite border maybe that will spawn a new type of troop something like that is really cool and i think you know for the most part getting like diplomacy into Bannerlord would just be so cool because then you can start to have them alliances forming and then maybe your villages start to like migrate and you have like these you know packs and uh, it just sounds really really cool um whether it's on the kingdom level the clan level something like that would be very very cool and having like you know units kind of migrate and you know influence you know at least having like when you conquer a city there's like a culture bar and the more culture you have for more of your type of soldiers there is there and it kind of mixes and matches i think something like that at least should be added into bannerlord so it's going to be pretty much it i think there's a few more units down here again with our own custom unit tree again yeah we got another unit of right here and again this is like the cavalry side the cavalry clan more so but i also like the way that you know there are still kind of like tier fours in a lot of the units and that's kind of the way that the faction is set up then if we take a look at the domain which is all the way over here they have much more of like a standardized infantry line they've mainly got a lot of these lantian levies and there's a few custom ones sat in there as well so kind of basically just like heavy spear archers uh, and other stuff like that if we go actually to the troops and we go uh to the domain which will be down here somewhere is it these guys i oh, know these guys are the arc so there's there's a few clans that aren't actually in the game right now and the modder is still very much working in uh on them um yeah i can't actually see there are there are a handful of other clans as well as so you can see Again, they're actually not that quite done yet. But yeah, there are, there are still a couple more unit trees in here. I'm not exactly sure where these guys recruit them from, though. I probably should have done that before the video. But either way, they do have a few more as well that they can take advantage of um, and recruit from. Uh, but for the most part, you know, this is going to be kind of their standardized troop tree. Lots of spears, heavy infantry, uh, and a decent archer line as well. But yeah, they can also, you know, exploit and take advantage from the other side and recruit more soldiers to help them out where they need to. Um, and then we also have this Dwarven Kingdom, which is set up like down here. I assume they're like Dwarvens because they are quite short. They have some cool you looking units as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they are. They are definitely Dwarves. Here we go. The Dwarven roster looking very, very juicy indeed. Just a group of heavy, heavy infantry ready to go down. We also have some cavalry as well. I wonder what that looks like. I haven't actually uh, loaded into a battle with the dwarves and they're going to look at that. But yeah, they're basically heavy infantry, custom shields, custom weaponry, uh, ready to, to throw down. Again, they have very good stats as well. So going to be a deadly unit for sure on the battlefield. I also love this like Erebor-esque uh, helmet as well. Definitely inspired heavily from Erebor. Um, so yeah, now let's go ahead and take a look at all the, the some of the custom assets that are also in the game as well. You can see my dude right here. Uh, so there's a handful. You can see some of the shields as well. If I take off this as well, you can see the shield and a bit of a, uh, you know, more glory right there. Shields looking great. And there are also several other ones uh, that are currently in the game. But, you know, statured to a few of the, the units themselves. Uh, again, I really like kind of this blue-esque shield. Uh, for the dwarfs that they do have again you have a bunch of new armors as well and this isn't all the armors as well but i'm showing off i'm just kind of showing you guys a few variants uh from them uh we also have a bunch of helmets as well i think there's a lot of helmets in my mod uh more so than anything else and you guys can see a handful of them right there you know from medieval to like dwarven-esque to you know more fantasy style which is really cool and when we take off that shield as well you guys can see some of the, the weapons as well so as i said i really do dig like the warhammer uh feel to them uh, i love that i think that's really really cool and obviously you also have a bunch of new custom halberds uh that are also in the game as well and you can use you got some more maces these are obviously the two-handed ones ones that you'll be like kind of wielding a shield and a, and, and a warhammer as well like a one-handed warhammer uh and there's again there's a handful of other assets that are already in the game again some more of the helmets uh, as well that you guys can see and we obviously also have that awesome spear as well that i spoke about earlier i really like the look of that uh, that weapon on the battlefield uh so let's just dive into a battle uh, and see how many enemies we can take down uh i guess we'll, we'll we'll jump in against maybe one of these factions i'm sure there'll be a, a roaming army somewhere that we can take advantage of uh yeah i mean there's a, there's a couple um parties moving around we're actually obviously looking for a lord uh that we can kill it seems like there's a lot of lords right here moving around um actually not you let's go after you because you have some cool custom assets uh that yeah i mean looks very very cool indeed uh, i'm here to deliver my demands good sir you will yield 
Or you, oh my god, it draws in all of them. Nice. Very, very cool indeed. So yeah, I'll obviously go ahead and link the, uh, the mod down below in the description so you guys can check that out. You can see some of my setup right there. The spear, my uh, my pole arm sk skills are not good right now. We also have the halberd. I like the fact that you can wield the halberd with one hand. Obviously, you can swing it as well if you need to. Uh, we got the warhammer. So this, I imagine, would be like the majority of magistics. Oh, man. It's just something about like a, you know, a warhammer that just gets me all, all warm inside. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the shape. Maybe it's the, the pointy bits. I just don't know. So let's obviously make our way over and you, you can, we can obviously zoom in and take a look at some of the other the factions that are being charged and thrusted towards me. I think that obviously this is quite early game, so that their unit setup isn't exactly the best. And I also believe this is like one faction style as well. There's no like multi, obviously. There's one of the lords. Oh my god, there's a bloody mountain right there. Let's uh, go ahead and photo mode this as well. Like that, you can actually take a look at him. Yeah, I mean, that looks awesome, right? Look at that dude. He is a, a mountain among men, ready to uh, yeah take on anybody in his path. Looks really, really cool. And I love the aesthetic of, of these generals of the Warhammers. I think they look yeah, like awesome. Really, really cool work. Again, some of the other units, a lot of these are actually vanilla assets, but you can see you know some bits have been added in and, and, and changed, which is nice. And again, it's all just a work in progress. Some cool uh, spears on these guys. And obviously every faction itself is, uh, oh my god, look at me getting absolutely, my hand is all a little bit clipped up right there. I think I'm about to die, if I'm honest, as the spears come flying in uh, to destroy me right there. But obviously as the game goes on as well, something to keep in mind is that as the game goes on, uh, a lot of the... Luckily we're playing on easy mode uh, and I take no damage whatsoever. My god, imagine playing on that. Um, yeah, so obviously as the game goes on as well, you're gonna, going to experience... Um, oh god, I've done so much damage. You're going to experience uh, a lot more of these diverse factions. Like right now, these it's the beginning of the game, so these lords are just recruited from their towns. But you know, because they're in the kingdom of Atlantia, they will move around and they will uh, they will obviously recruit from the, the, the surrounding villages in their kingdom, which will allow for some really diverse armies and uh, yeah, a really cool kind of setup right there. Let's go and just take down this warlord right now. Again, we are playing on easy difficulty, so don't expect much uh, from this. But yeah, the reach on this weapon is not great. God, imagine playing on this. Oh my, oh my god, that felt so satisfying. Do you see him go? Yeah, as I was saying, like, imagine playing on this as like a, a default uh, default ability. I really like the impact of this weapon as well. It feels great as I hit into them. You know, it feels like I have just clobbered them in the face. And there you go. Finally down. That's going to be it for the video. I want to just go ahead and showcase this mod. It's still very much an early, you know, early access mod. It's still very much in a, you know, beginning stages right now. Um, but yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, really, really cool stuff. And I, I can't wait to see more as well from this mod because, uh, you know, it's, it's going to get better and better the more mod tools we get. And if you guys can help out with this mod as well, I recommend going over to their Discord. I believe they've linked it on their mod DB page. And yeah, I mean, look at this dude. He is, he is ready to throw down anything in his path. He is, uh, yeah, ready to take it down. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you drop a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you thought and I'll see you guys in the next one.